Well, hello there. I'm back for more. Anyway, um, we're about to take on Giovanni, and as you can probably imagine, he's going to be a tough cookie. So make sure that your Pokemon are healed up at least a little bit, because I'm pretty sure he has a bunch of ground types. Just going off his concept, he's kind of a ground type um, person, if you don't know his name and all that stuff. Um, to be honest, he's kind of easy the first time around, but when you get to him later on in the game, he's kind of hard. But that's all up to fate. By the way, if you hear anything in the background, for some reason, it becomes overpopulated in my house when I'm trying to record which just so happens to be the only time where it matters. But, hey, what are you going to do about it? Yeah, 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 shut up. I don't care. All right, Giov and I forgot to switch, didn't I? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. So he starts off with an Onyx level 25. Pretty easy, especially if you have a water or grass type. And I believe in Gen 3, they don't have the sturdy ability, or it, sturdy ability wasn't a thing. So, everything, you can just plow through everything. Rhyhorn, level 24. Just wash, rinse, and repeat, since it's the same type as Onyx. <laughs> Sweet scent. That is such a waste of a move slot. And finally, King, yeah, King is kind. Did I say it right? I don't even know. I don't say the Pokemon's name very often. I don't have a fighting type, which is kind of strange. But um, I guess we'll just go out with Doug. I guess. Kangaskin. I don't even know how to say it. I did a lot for fake out. Oh, this is gonna this is going to absolutely obliterate me. I should have stayed in with Caesar. Oops, I did not mean to do that. I meant to use yeah, Razor Leaf. I shouldn't do very much. Well, I just realized Mega Punch isn't even a fighting type move. It's a normal type move. I'm sorry for the background noise. For some reason, people are on the roof. I'm assuming from all the noise, they're on the roof doing stuff. So I'm gonna just let Caesar just. I'm gonna just let. I'm gonna just let him take this hit because I'm gonna. Um, switch into Keaton. This is this. It's kind of symbolizing how I'm so under level as of right now. It's only a matter of time before I go back. Um, I take another hiatus as far as videos are being produced is concerned. And during that hiatus, I'm probably going to be um, leveling up this team. Because as you can tell, the lowest Pokemon level is 20. The highest is 32. It's just meh. I'm getting all these hits in now, but when he hits me just one time with whatever move, it's going to kill me because you've probably dropped my defense like five times. Oh yeah, I am so toast. Yeah, I saw that coming. All right, Keaton is literally the only one who actually stands a chance, and even then, Keaton still over leveled a little bit. But nothing wrong with that. So that is Giovanni. Like I said, he's kind of easy. His Kangaskhan is a little bit difficult if you're under level. That's if you're under level. Otherwise, it's kind of a pushover. Or you have a fighting type. That works too.
And now he leaves behind the soul scope, which we can use to go back to the Pokemon Tower, tower, and investigate the um spirit that's at the top floor. So I'll just cut to when I get there because I don't think you want to see me go all the way to the Pokemon Center and then there. So with the power and magic of video editing, kaboom! Yeah, sorry for the sudden cut. I want to go eat dinner, but I'm back now. So, um, all you gotta do is just make your way to the top of the Pokemon... I was about to say Pokemon Center. Make your way up to the top of the Pokemon Tower. I highly advise using Repels because the Gastly's will get annoying. And then the Ghost the Spirit is gonna get annoying. So, recommend doing that. Okay, here it is. So, I'm pretty sure if you came here without the Soul Scope, you would just run away or back away from the spot. But now that we have the soul scope, we can look at, we can identify the spirit. Is it, can, can you catch this? I don't know. I can try. Assuming I don't kill it. Actually, let me try it. You might be able to catch it. Not that I want it on the team. I don't think I need a ground type because it's only good against poison and steel. Actually, I wouldn't be too bad, but I already have something that's good against poison and steel. It's just I have a fire type already, so but I'll try. Okay, you can't catch it. I don't think so. Here's a thing I don't understand about the Pokemon, um, the Pokemon world. How how do ghost types work? Now it sounds like a stupid question, but think about it. There are ghost type Pokemon, and then there's Pokemon who are spirits, as in ghosts. So. Do Pokemon die and become ghost type Pokemon or how do they become spear Pokemon if ghost type Pokemon are think? But um, anyway, enough talking about, about weird theories. Alright, I'm back, sorry about that. Luckily the TV in the background is finally off, so I don't have to hear that anymore. But what we do have to do is fight all of these trainers. I think there's three. All three of them I'm gonna do off camera because I do not feel like wasting my battery. So, see you on the flip side. All right. So those three are pretty easy. You can take care of them with like a level 29 Pokemon or higher. So now you talk to the old guy who's been trapped up here for about six months. Well, according to my game, so he talks about how that Marowak was cube on the mother and all that. So now we're finally done with all of that. But there is one more thing I need to get. And it's not, you don't have to get it unless you're following my exact steps. But it's something for my Pokemon. So chances are you probably won't need to get it. So I'm buying me a Firestone, obviously, for Dog. So I'm going to end the episode here because... From here on now, it's going to be a lot to do. So in the next episode, we'll finally be heading into the second half of the game. Now that we're done with the first half. And we'll be taking on... What comes first? The Saffron City Gym or the... What's the gym that's before the... The, um... Jeez, I can't even remember the name of it. The fifth gym, I believe, is the Saffron City Gym. The seventh gym is the, um... Cinnabar Island Gym. That's the fire type one. What's the one before that? I know it's poison type, but I really get confused because there's two different gym leaders. I think it's Koga, the poison, the Ko the Koga, <laughs> the one with the Goku type hair. I don't know. I'll just have to do my research. But thank you so much for watching Pokemon Fire Red playthrough. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in part 19. Peace out, guys. Wait a second, it is part 19. See you in part 20.